Inspired by the high-spirited visuals of the song, coupled with the works of Madelon photographers who have captured the vibrant essence of the Eiffel Tower, I set out on a week-long journey in 2019 to capture the Republican spirit of this emblematic landmark and its dynamic surroundings. Paris, a city that charms me with its exceptional depictions of historical events, unrivaled standards in art presentation, fashion, and culinary offerings. However, what fascinated me most was the diverse array of visual art and design, encompassing street art, photography and painting exhibits in museums and art galleries, graffitis, magazine covers, restored antics, visual merchandising, local store workers, imaginative use of illustrations and graphic design in less well-known ads, and of course, photo postcards. Using only a camera set to monochrome mode, I set forth to creating compelling compositions that would idealize the imposingly still monument in the frame, along with the impressions of the lively movements around it to create a striking juxtaposition. It was so interesting to learn how a monument can shape a nation's perspective and elevate the status of artists such as painters, graphic designers, illustrators, and performance artists. Moreover, I found it intriguing to witness how monuments can boost the economy through entertainment, hospitality, and tourism. To further enrich my understanding, I visited various galleries and exhibitions to learn the evolution of the Western photographic thought. I started with the Henry cartier bresson Foundation, where I was introduced to the striking photo series, Museum of the Revolution, by a South African photographer, Guy Tillum. This series offers a unique perspective on the social-political history of Africa and powerfully depicts the aftermath of independent movements, exploring the impact of colonialism and post-colonial political turmoil on the continent. At Polka Gallery, I had the opportunity to delve into the contemporary works of Joachim S. Kelsen, a Danish art photographer. His exhibition, Cornwall, was particularly noteworthy as he captured the essence and allure of the south coast of England and the historic heart of Paris's MEP. The exhibits there showcase the most modern works and practices of emerging artists in photography. The Jeu de Pomme and Clary Garden has a great collection of works on modern and postmodern photography. Finally, I had the chance to view the collections of several photographers, including Pohosto Podavini and Frederick de Langle at the Lagasse Photo Festival. Although I visited well-known museums and art galleries in Paris, my comprehension of the Parisian culture got deepened only through the humble medium of postcards. I truly grasped the essence of the era gone by. Through postcards, I became aware of the lesser-known aspects of French society that are not predominantly exhibited in larger establishments. This encouraged me to look out for the underappreciated fragments of society, their approach to survival, and how they make their presence felt to the broader masses. Furthermore, observing the paintings displayed by street artists sparked my interest in uncovering more about the city. The art display showcased a wide range of vogue urban themes, abstract depictions of city life, artist interpretation of iconic landmarks, and lastly, revering the beauty of femininity. What fascinated me was how artists fused reality with their creativity. As a photographer, I naturally link every scene I witness by carefully concentrating on the present moment, drawing from my memories for depth, and utilizing my imagination to creating a composition. By capturing and presenting the series in black and white, I was able to amplify the inclusivity factor in my visual interpretations. The factor that made my images stand out was the unwavering spirit and relatability they possessed. <laughs> 